For this video, we're going to have a look at how we maybe answer a National 5 question or the types of National 5 questions we might get. I'm going to do this in paper, so hopefully it will all work first time through. Um, and use this as a bit of an ad advice in terms of try to interpret the questions as they're meant, not so much as they may appear. Um, and this is where we start getting our geography knowledge in terms of looking at map work and in terms of trying to apply that as well. So, question one, we let's have a look at it in its entirety. So, look at the three locations in question C in diagram Q1. Identify each areas A, B, and C from the options below. So, we've got our three areas up here. Diagram Q1 is here, and then we've got diagram Q1 up here. So, this is the diagrams we're looking at here, A, B, and C. Now, what we've got to do is match these up with either the CBD, the inner city, the suburbs of the urban fringe. So looking at the maps sections and seeing which one, from your knowledge, might apply to each one of these. And it's three marks. So it will be a mark for each one you get correct. As there's four options, one of them will be wrong. So try not to, try not to choose that one. With questions like this, you know, it's multiple choice, so have a guess, even if you don't know. Um, the likelihood is you might get, get lucky, there's a 30, 25% chance you've got it right. Um, so it's better putting that than nothing. On to part B though. So there's quite a lot more in here, but just make sure you can take time to read the whole question and then go baby back and look at it. The Jones family are moving from Nottingham to, Gla to Nottingham from Glasgow. Mr. Jones works from home, and Mrs. Jones is a lawyer. They have two children who are both still at school, and a dog, Fenton, who needs a lot of exercise. So using your knowledge, can you recommend which area would be most suitable for them to live? Give reasons for your answer. So as with before, it's worth four marks. So we're going to need to make four separate points here to make sure we've got full marks for this. You also have to give reasons. So it's not just a simple case of saying, you know, I'd recommend part um, area A because, well, whatever, you need to give any reasons. You won't get any marks for that. So your four marks will come from the reasons you give for why they might want to live there. This is where you then go back and look at the key parts of the question. So Mr. Jones works from home. Is that going to be significant in any way? Is he going to need a home office or a larger house to live in? Mrs. Jones is a lawyer. Where might that be? Where might we find a law court in some of the maps? So that's a kind of key part as well. They have two children, both who are still at school. So you're going to maybe want to look for an area that has a lot of schools and a dog who needs lots of exercise. So somewhere that you can safely take them out, maybe even let the kids take the dog if they're old enough to do that. So using your knowledge from the, this question, have a look at these three areas and then think which one you might want to have, might be the most suitable for you to recommend. Question two, our final question, is a lot more built in. So, like most developed world cities, Nottingham is a city with a growing traffic problem. Right, we don't, this doesn't really tell us what the question is, but we're aware that the question might be around traffic. So we've done traffic, so we know that might be what the question is looking at. Explain the measures which Nottingham or any developed world city you have studied might put in place to reduce traffic congestion in their city or their city centre. So the key things here. there. Explain as highlighted for us so we know that that is the type of question we're looking for. And explain questions have you have to say why. So describe questions just saying, oh, like, or they've maybe put in some yellow lines. The explain would be, why have they put in yellow lines? What have yellow lines done that are going to reduce traffic congestion? Now, they have highlighted Nottingham because that links with the map that you got. Any other developed world city means you can choose any city you've looked at. So if you looked at Glasgow or Edinburgh, you can choose them. So if you know something specific from Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, London, 
you can focus and reference them so that you can draw in any knowledge you've got. I mean, even if you want to go further afield, like New York or Los Angeles, they'd all work because they fit in this developed world criteria. Just being aware you get five marks, you may be looking in for five strategies that you've explained okay, or two or three strategies that have explained really well would get you the five marks for an extra credit. So just take your time with this. The whole section is out of 12. And at National 5, it's expected that a 12 mark question, you get one minute and 45 seconds for every mark. So 12 marks should take you around about 20 minutes. If you have done it a lot quicker than that, you maybe have gone too fast. And you maybe need to check that you've added enough detail into your answer. If there's a full map available, which there is for this and other side, use that to help you in any extra information. And good luck.